I want to thank Paul E. Lamb on A Voice for Men for doing a fantastic job of bringing our message to the people, to men, to society. He does a great job. He reveals an awful lot of truth to people that maybe they don't have, maybe they haven't heard, maybe they needed to hear it again. Thank you, Paul. I was in a store that was also a sheltered workshop for people trying to learn how to do jobs that they could do, uh, but the training was, was better than normal. When they train someone how to be an employee, how to work, how to do a good job, they're professional about it. One day, I happened to be in that store, and the man came in that I hadn't seen for some time. He came up to me and he said, I thought you were my friend. And I said, I am your friend. Where have you been? And then he told me the story of false accusations that had thrown him into prison. A man that had never committed a crime ever, never suspected of a crime, never accused, no indications of anything. He told me the story, it was a heartbreaking story. I felt bad for him. And I said, you've, you've been telling me the story now for about 15 minutes. And over here, there's been a man standing in the bathroom doorway, the women's bathroom doorway, just standing there. Have you noticed him? And uh, the guy said, well, yeah. I said, you notice he's got the sign standing there uh, on the floor saying, um, restroom cleaning in progress yeah and he's got his uh, his uh, chemical cart blocking the door and he's standing there blocking it too he says yeah I see that have you noticed that he hasn't moved or hasn't done anything he's just been standing there he said yeah I said don't you think that's strange don't you think there's something unusual about that does that really make sense to you this is a place that teaches people how to be good employees. Now this guy is just standing there, doing nothing. Well, he was so engrossed in his own story and his own pain, the agony and the torture that he'd been through, that he wasn't, wasn't picking up on my message. I said, let me explain what's going on. In the women's bathroom is another man a janitor cleaning it and nowadays to be a professional janitor to clean toilets women's restrooms you have to be protected by another man because the false accusations are taking its toll on business and janitors but this is what's going on now the business recognized it didn't want to take those losses of false accusations. That they would probably pay the woman out of court just to shut her up, to make her go away. And it's not that all women are going to do that, but some do. And some is enough to pay for, to, to make the cost of a, an extra janitor just standing there as protection for another janitor. So the, the tide is turning. People in business are starting to understand that you can't trust the accusations of women. The respect for women is falling. In, a, in an era when they want more respect, they want equality, they want to be treated as as another man would treat a man. They've somehow blown it. They've somehow missed the point. They've somehow gone past. And now they're being feared. What's the next stage? What happens next? Could it go so far that they don't believe anything women say? Can it go so far as 
to list women up there with politicians, used car salesmen, lawyers, cops? Is that where they wanted to go? Whatever the reasons, this is what's happening. It now takes two janitors to clean one women's bathroom if the store is open. The man that was talking to me stared and I said, yeah, what sent you to prison, business understands. Your attorney didn't understand, the courts didn't understand, your family understood because they stood behind you. Can you go to jail just for scrubbing toilets? The answer is yes. And business knows it. Not scrubbing the men's bathroom, just the woman's. Now I don't always scrub toilets, but when I do, I have protection. Stay safe, my friend. I love you, MacGyver. Hang in there.